All right, I think I'm gonna make a little video about my latest acquisition. It's this, uh, it looks like an eight foot by four foot uh, utility trailer. Um, basically how I got it, it was, it was buried under a pile of crap. I was told I could have it as long as I took all the stuff away and got rid of it. So uh, here it is. I got it home on the, the red trailer there. Just uh, got a few friends to help me lift it up on there. It's a hauling ass trailer that used to be the sticker wall was on there as a picture of a donkey and uh you know it's got one good tire on it all the lights and wiring are destroyed um yeah that tire it's garbage but uh i have these two golf cart tires that i have i'm gonna put this on there just uh so i can move it around the, the house I know these are speed rated tires, so I'm not actually going to take it on the street with those until I get new ones, but uh, it has the same bolt pattern and I think they'll just bolt right up and I'll be good to move it. Um, basically what I want to do with this is I just want to fix it up and maybe sell it because uh, my, my mower that I use, the zero turn, it's, the deck is 60 inches, so that's, uh, that's bigger than this, this trailer. I don't even think the tires will go on this trailer. so. Uh, and I bet I think the, the capacity looks probably like 800 to 1,000 pounds, and that that mower weighs I think 1,200 or something. So I just kind of want to sell it, make a little bit of money off it, and buy a trailer that's smaller than the red one over there, but uh, bigger than this one. So I'm gonna get those tires changed out and wheel it inside and start stripping it down. <laughs> Alright, now that I got the new tires on, I think I might just hook it on the truck and see how it pulls just around the yard. I'm not actually going to take it on the street because it's not legal whatsoever right now. It's got uh, underrated tires, no lights, and uh, all these boards are super loose, I don't know, about uh, stuff like that flying off on the road. So I'm going to hook it up now. As you can see, I'd probably need to buy a new hitch too if I plan on keeping this trailer because I need more more of a drop. And because it's a tilt trailer, I don't want it leaning that much because uh, you just pull the pin out, which it didn't have a didn't have a cotter pin on the other side of it, so it would come up and dump really easily. I wouldn't want a, a mow or anything like that on it. Uh, and also these chains, they don't they don't latch; they're just hook on and the wiring is a it's a flat four connector and it's just completely garbage so uh, I'm gonna hook this gorilla pod that I'm trying to use up to the bumper and I'm gonna pull it around the yard so
I just drove around with it some in a it's a little bitty trailer. I don't I don't really like it that much because it's super hard to back because it doesn't have a whole lot of weight and you can't you can't see it too good in the mirrors because it's it's right under behind the truck. I mean it doesn't it doesn't back nearly as nice as that one does. Um, I mean this this trailer would be perfect for um, someone towing it behind a car or something or someone wanting to mow, uh, move smaller mowers or something. But uh, I think I'm definitely going to uh, redo all the wood on this and uh, try and sell it and maybe get something a bit bigger that I could actually use. Alright, I've been making a little progress now. I got the old deck taken off, I got all the wiring out of it, and I made a quick run to the hardware store where I got a sheet of plywood that looked pretty nice. Uh, it's a 4x8 sheet, uh, and this trailer's 4x7 like and 8 inches or something, so I'm gonna have to trim it a little bit, but it basically just slides up under this lip right here. And this is the uh, the triangular end where it's a dump bed, and see it can you can lay back and you could uh, drive a mower up on it or something. But uh, yeah, I got some. I had to cut the screws off that held the old board on because the head stripped off when I tried to take them off. But uh, I got some self-tapping metal to wood. I mean wood to metal screws, and all should be good. I also I looked into the titling laws for this, and since the gross capacity is only it's under 4,000 pounds, I don't have to title it, but I still have to register it and get a plate for it in the state of Texas. So after I get the deck on the lights on, I need to get it registered. I need to get a new set of tires for it because these are golf cart tires and they are like two ply, I think, pretty low, and. Uh, I looked at tractor supply and it's like $40 a piece for new tires for these rims. That's not too bad. I can just go get them mounted up for about five bucks a piece and uh, it should be ready to go. I want to sell it kind of quick and get rid of it and get something I can actually use. So uh, I need to take the zero turn places to mow uh, that I don't want to take that 25 foot trailer that I have. So uh, I'm going to get it wired up and the deck put on it now. All right, I bought this trailer wiring kit at uh, Lowe's. It was like 25 bucks, and it had everything I'm supposed to need to get this wired up. And this is, of course, does not have brakes on it, so that's no big deal. Uh, it came with the two lights, uh, right and left, and it came with two uh, marker lights. I'm not sure if I want to use those or where I want to put them on this trailer uh, because it did not previously have them. Uh, I think if I'm going to put them anywhere on this trailer, I'm probably going to put them on the front of the wheel fender. Um, but, you know, I don't know really how I want to do that. I need to look at the instructions on how to wire that up. So, yeah. Alright, I got that wiring kit hooked up. It was a little uh, hard to figure out how the, the back lights have the wire spliced into them, but... Uh, after trying, I got it figured out. I also had to put a, a flat four connector on my truck because the only thing I have is the seven pin uh, round style connector for trailers with brakes. But um, I got these two lights, they're functioning, the hazards and turn everything. I also, the kit included the, the uh, marker lights and I just thought, hey, I might as well put them on. And so I put them on right at this cross member right here and I ran the wires through there and then tapped it into brown cable. Here's the messy looking four pin connector. I don't know if you, how well you can see that right now. Uh, but yeah, I just have it tapped in right behind my seven pin on the truck. And um, now I got the sheet plywood up here. I'm about to wheel this inside with better lighting and I'm going to start getting the deck laid on this thing and hopefully tomorrow I should be getting some tires that will fit these rims and I should be getting it registered also tomorrow so I can uh, hopefully sell it this week I don't know where I left off on these videos but uh, I have the trailer done now I'm waiting to register it 
I ended up actually painting it and getting the new tires on it. These were the 570 by 8 uh, four lug tires. They have a, I think it's a 715 pound capacity per tire, so that translates to about 1400 pounds uh, combined. And the axle rating is 2000 pounds. Um, but I did, I painted it, it's International Harvester Red. Um, the deck is all done, the wiring's all done. Literally all I have to do is get the plate on it and it'll be ready to go, ready to get sold. And um, that's about it, so thanks for watching this video.